So we started off by comparing the cable V-bar tricep extension with the rope tricep extension. And I wanted to find something here where the load was somewhat similar. With the V-bar tricep extension, you can technically go a little bit heavier than the rope variation because the rope variation is going to isolate each arm a little bit more. And you're going to have a little more range of motion because the bar isn't going to hit your lap. It's going to go all the way to the sides. We did 10 reps on the V-bar extension and we did eight on the rope extension. But we ended up getting a lot more tricep activation through the sensor on the rope extension extension, which wasn't all that surprising, but the fact that it almost doubled the value was definitely surprising on our end over here. So for our second group of exercises, we went ahead and we did the flat barbell bench press with a narrow grip and moved on to the narrow grip chest press machine as well. So we went with some lighter loads there. We did about 95 pounds, probably could have done about 15 repetitions, but we just did 10 because we're just trying to see where the muscle activation really is. After that, we went into the chest press machine. They both gave us really similar numbers. I thought that the machine was going to end up giving me some more tricep activation because there's more stability there. It's a lot easier for me to focus on squeezing, but they were about the same. And I really do like narrow grip bench press variations because so many of our goals involve getting a stronger bench or just lifting more overall. So it's a lot of practice on the lockout of that movement there really could help us get some more weight up.